What's going on guys? This is Names with Names Repairs. It's been a while since I made a video. I haven't been fixing any Mercedes Benzes, but there's been a lot of work in this shed and I was working on this MK1 GTI. I'm working on Grandad's Ford Focus and also I am working on an engine swap on a Porsche 944 and there you go. So this is the 944. We pulled the engine out. I just haven't removed it yet, but the idea is to remove the motor in here and then figure out a new motor that can fit in there. The owner wants a 1.8 turbo motor in here, so hopefully that all goes through. And I'm gonna rebuild this engine because it has a head gasket problem. And if you can see from the throttle body, if you can see it's the throttle body, and look at this. <laughs> the Porsche 944 engine has milk inside it. <laughs> that's the throttle body there and this milk is coming from the throttle body. And that's why the motor was busted in this car. The head gasket is gone. So yeah, we're gonna swap the motor but I'm gonna rebuild this engine. So it's gonna be an exciting project but probably that's gonna be in January when I'm gonna be showing you the rebuild of this motor. In the meantime, this is leaking power steering fluid and it's leaking from, there's a switch down under there. I'll show you in a while, but first I have to drain the fluid that's in here because I wanna pull out the power steering fluid. So what I've done is I have a bottle here. I'm just gonna put the fluid in this bottle but I'm not gonna pump it up with the pump, it's a waste of time. I'm just gonna go under the car and go and crack that 19 mil uh, power steering pressure, oil pressure switch or fluid pressure switch and then dump the fluid in there. And this fluid is not the correct fluid for this car anyway in the first place. If you have rumps, you're the luckiest human beings. I don't. So, that's the power steering switch so there's an electrical connector that goes in there this is it you just pull it out right that's loose enough what I'll do is I'll bring my bottle here just continue doing the rest of the work by hand. This is the second time I'm changing this switch. I have no idea what's causing the switch to bust, so if any of you out there know why this switch is always causing me problems, let me know. I'm just gonna do it by hand now. See if it's it's moving. But before I condemn the power steering rack, I would rather condemn the goddamn switch. So that's the switch out. Just came back from the under. <laughs> that's our switch. This is an o-ring that I just had to put there, but the problem is not the o-ring, it's this part here. It's loose. We just wait for the new order and we'll put it in and see what, how it goes from there. Jared went to the shops to get the new switch. Now just waiting for him. As soon as he comes, we put the switch, we put the fluid back up and see how it goes. In the meantime, this place is a mess and it needs a clean over. There's parts everywhere, there's a gearbox there, there's DSG gearbox, there's a Golf gearbox, VW engine, and no Mercedes in sight, and we have a Porsche, and another Golf. So, in the meantime, this is what it is, we just have to wait, and after, we'll see. Right, Mr. Jared just came back from the shop, and we have a new switch here, so we're gonna put in this new switch and see if everything gets on see this is properly sealed in here and then the old one has no seal so i don't know 
but um, I'm gonna try pop it in the car now and see how it goes. This is our new seal, 55 quid for this. Everything is expensive in Ireland these days. <laughs> new oil pressure switch is going in. Yeah. So, remember we cleaned up the whole place. You know what, there's a difference in grip. Mm. I'm feeling more grip on this one. So this works happy days, yeah? Yeah. That's it. And this one feels tighter, man. It does feel tight. Yeah. Yeah. I think the problem is if you over tighten it, you break the rubber. Yeah. That's what happens with this. Oh man, it's just going in easily. Yeah, but in Consort it would have been 30. That place is too expensive. Yeah. The red, the red one, there, near the grease bottle. That one. Is there something in there? Yeah, there is it. Yeah. You can use that, yeah? Yeah. Just pour it in there. Until it's full. That's it. Okay. Uh, do you want to turn the wheel? Don't start the car, right? Just turn the wheel to purge the system. So turn the wheel to me. Yeah. Is that full lock? No. Yeah. No, it is. Full lock? See the bubbles coming up. Full lock, yeah? Yeah. Turn your full lock. That, that's full lock now to the right. Yeah. Turn it the other way around. We have a small little leakage on the high pressure hose, but it's okay for the car, so it's, yeah. it's not too bad. And then we not we don't have to change the rack anyways. You know what I mean? Well, we don't know that yet. <laughs> <laughs> what do you it's mean? It's always a surprise, isn't it? <laughs> I don't think we really need to change the rack. Wait, wait, wait! Don't jack it up first. We need to close that uh, rubber boot. Yeah. Remember, I opened it. It's a jubilee. The leaking has stopped. The leaking was from the pressure switch, but what's causing the pressure switch to leak every couple of months? I don't know, I have no idea. All of you Ford enthusiast guys, because this is a very old car, so all of you Ford enthusiast guys, please let me know why it's constantly leaking after every two or three months, the high pressure switch. After being replaced, it goes and leaks again. So is it the high pressure pipe sending back pressure to the switch and then causing damage or whatever? The pump is working too hard and it's getting too hot. And then the sealant on the switch could be melting. I don't know. Anyways, so. You go and check it out, take it for a spin and see what the deal is. What needs to be done next. You got me. Till next time. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's how you replace a high pressure power steering fluid switch on a Ford Focus MK1. Anyway, the next coming up thing is me tearing down this Porsche engine, if you can see it. That's the next episode that's coming down. So we are going to be tearing down that Porsche engine and getting it ready. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next one. I know I've been slacking on the Mercedes, but I've got a very good Mercedes project coming. So stay on the lookout.